Hello all, this is James Johnson, a.k.a. Sulphurblade, and I am back here once again with the Hearts of Iron 4, La Resistance DLC, and Spain, where we are going to attempt to show the best ways to play Spain as a car list. Now, I have... Uh, I reckon myself somewhat of an expert at this point after losing several times. And so one could say that the best uh, teacher is failure. And uh, we're going to see if that is actually true or not. As I come into... Uh, as I come into this with several losses under my belt, trying to, uh, I don't know, min-max my way to victory in Spain. So some of the first things we're going to do is we're going to coalesce our navy up here in Galicia. Listo para avanzar. We're going to send those guys off to the mainland. We're going to send these guys off to the mainland. Start giving some of these guys a home. Listo para avanzar. Oh wait, no, that's a brigade, right? Yeah. I don't want to. Well, which one are you? Yeah, you can go there. Brigade's not allowed. Listo. Uh, this one has a different name, too. Uh, another brigade type thing. Cavalry will actually give to s uh, its own thing. Listo para avanzar. You conscription, you're probably... Oh. Well, that's interesting. Well, we'll add you to these guys. Infantry, you can go there. And the mountain guys can probably go in with our cavalry unit. Now we have a couple of mountains. Yeah, you're a normal. Alright, so that should be all of the guys put together. We're going to go to research. Okay, I I have a new plan for research. Do not research anything that's going to affect Rub Republican Spain right now. Um, so, what things is it okay to give Republican Spain? Well, not weapons and equipment. Don't do your weapons and equipment research right now. Because... Yes, I'm, I'm going to crazily min-max that many things. Don't do your artillery um, right now. Uh, don't do uh, doctrines, like superior firepower doctrine, right now. Uh, what you can do is things that, well, w will sort of benefit them, I mean, but it'll benefit you too, and it won't actually give a direct benefit to the troops. So, get, improve your, your tech and improve your industry right now. Because that does not give any effect 
on your enemy, the Republicans. All right, civilian factories, be sure to to build those civilian factories up in the north. Probably Galicia is going to be the place that we could consider to be our stronghold. So, civilian factory goes there. Um, free military factories. Uh, you're going to want to divvy them out because you're going to want to get as much support equipment and artillery as you can now while you still have uh, while you still have industry to do so. And national focus, of course, we're going Great Spain because, you know, the Carlos is over here on the left of the tree. So, off we go to the left of the tree. Now, we're going to send most of the army up to the northern side of the map. These so this state here of Avido and Bilbao, these states we're not going to have full control of because we're not going to try to have full control of them, which means you do not want to actually have troops in that territory. So bring these guys out but near like this and probably can bring the horses damn it horses I think can go there yeah that'll be fine Alright, everybody's moving. Send that brigade up there. Get everybody going. And now we can unpause and let the game merrily move on its way. Um, also, remember to re base your air up to Galicia so you'll have some planes otherwise the Republicans will have your planes and this is a fact they, the Republicans will get your planes if you don't rebase them I have seen this happen all right so the Air Force is now safely secured. And you guys are just sitting here. I want you to head up to uh, this way. You mountaineerish guys will go like there you guys can go there listo para avanzar Didn't I send you guys on your way? I evidently didn't. So, some of these troops will vanish. They will uh, go the way of the dodo. But I am still... Uh, I still haven't completely 
ascertained whether or not having the troops in your territory underneath a friendly general or a line general has a better chance of them not going the way of the dodo and I believe it does actually so I still do this out of paranoia um, but some of these troops I believe will vanish but I have had more troops more good troops stay through this manner so some of these troops these these guys here uh, the ones with eight infantry divisions and some artillery and support companies those those are the troops you really want to stay um, yeah because they'll really make or break the the, the game yes, for do. you and why are you sitting over here I'm like that in. get over there All right, we got Great Spain. We got to make sure that we don't dilly dally over here at all. Hand over the CEDA campaign chest. You guys. Off to Galicia, please. Alright, so I have these guys pretty much all in Leon. Those guys are safely in Burgos. Actually, I'm going to send you over to Burgos with them, just because, I don't know, why not? Um, we're going to put some generals in command here, and the generals we're going to put in command are General Jose Enrique Varela. This guy here is a Carling, and he's a good general on top of it. Give him your best troops. and give him infantry expert and be happy all right um... the the cavalry unit is actually a, a very wide unit it's got a lot of manpower so and these mountain divisions aren't horrible i mean they're they're better than these uh... brigade divisions over here so these guys you'll want to give somebody uh, on the friendlier side too and the friendlier side would be uh, Jose Milan Astre is also a uh, is also a a the, the, the people uh, the the monarchs I, I've all of a sudden forgot their names. Actually, Miguel Cabanella, since he's a cavalry officer, should have the cavalry. So, and he's also a uh, a monarch. The Car Carlings. He's also a Carling. These two guys are Carlings. Remember that. Okay, and so since we have one Carling officer ship left, those are those are your Carling officers. <coughs> Okay, so completely min-maxing as much as we can here. Uh, we've we've put all the Carling officers in place from day one. We've thrown the mountain divisions over here in Burgos, and we've given them the cavalry to to help out. Uh, we've thrown our main uh, infantry brigades into Lyon, and we're sending the 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 
cannon fodder, if you will, over here to hold down Galatia, which is basically a, kind of like, think of it as our headquarters. Though Burgos and Pamplona, we will get no matter what. These two spots are... are Carling. And they're also nationalist. But these are Carling first locations. Alright, uh, Spanish election of 1936. Despite a massive election campaign by the Spanish Confederation of Autonomous Rights, blah blah blah. Alright, Ashes, Second Republic, got it. So now that should start bringing up these uh, very important things to do. But what most people focus on, and what I was focusing on, is the North. And I don't think that's a good idea. So, uh, Salmanca and m a lot of these, except for Asturias, Asturias and, and Vasco here, you're not going to automatically get. But you're going to automatically get kind of the rest of these below it. And that's going to leave these the two pockets up here in the north if you don't actively try to take them. If you actively try to take them, you will eliminate the pockets. And I was doing that. And I've decided that that's a bad move. Because having those pocketed troops give you, gives you a target to kill. And so I'm not going to take... I'm not going to compete for uh, the Asturias garrison here. And I'm not going to compete for the Pius Vascao garrison. I'm going to let those fall. Um, and I'm also going to not compete for these ones I get for free through decisions. Where I'm going to compete is kind of, well, against the usual uh, thought process. And that is down here in the south. I'm going to try to grab these two provinces here. Um, because I get the Africa Corps, and the Africa Corps can just do a quick jump across, link up with any troops that spawn down here, and do a solid, strong, southern, southerly push. And I think that'll be important for success. So Seville is going to be uh, my primary uh, place I'm going to look to try to get a hold of. Also, you're going to want to uh, deliver speeches and sway uh, leader loyalty um, when you can. And I am going to sway leader loyalty. So now I'm down to two political power. Kind of sucks. I'm, I'm, I might might not have wanted to do that, but I want to get this this uh, civil war. Where is it? The Where's the countdown clock? Has the countdown clock not appeared yet? It's here somewhere. Oh, 249 days. Military plot. I want this military plot uh, number, 249, to get to zero as soon as possible. Because the time period between now and 249 days from now, uh, the opposition, they get more things to do and have more political power to do it with. So the quicker you get this little mini game over, the better it is for you as the nationalist and or carlist. Okay, now we're going to continue on from here. So they're making concessions to the left, and they're going to sec secure the Guardia de Assalto, um, which is probably some somewhere. It's a garrison, more than likely.
All right. I have got 10 political power, so that's good. Uh, I was worried I wouldn't have the political power I needed for the next time I needed it. And I'm going to grab the this spot here because I want to try to create a land link because we're gonna we're gonna own this or we should own this and that way that'll bridge a land link right through here from our territory. <coughs> Though we have a port down here, so it's not mandatory we get this, but it is a fairly large. Um, state. Right, they're still making concessions. Uh, where where you, a lot of people can go wrong here is this time period right now. If you haven't done the Spanish Civil War, you may be completely oblivious to the fact you need to be doing this. And so a, a, a fair amount of time can go by before you realize, oh, I need to start grabbing these places. All right. Uh, negotiate Carlos support. Change in popularity of non-aligned, 15% upon start of the Civil War. Five well-trained units of three infantry battalions. Um, these are important for us as a Carlist because those are going to be ours. Those are loyal to the Carlos no matter what. Even when we break away from the the uh, fascist side and and do a civil war on the civil war those guys will come with us for sure so those are nice uh... where are we here we're still doing uh, that one. Okay. germany embroiled in civil war and also we got extra military power and what I'm gonna do with that extra military power is I'm gonna get up get a leap up in Seville and I'm gonna bring it up a second notch because they're gonna wanna do exactly what they're doing they're gonna wanna challenge me in Seville and so we don't wanna be challenged in Seville uh, So we're going to challenge their challenge. And challenging their challenge is actually beneficial. Um, if you don't challenge the challenge and you allow them to basically remove all of your check marks, you'll never be able to recheck that and they will have ultimately won that location. So uh, when you only have one check mark like this and they challenge it and you don't challenge it yourself you're conceding that location. So be sure to challenge the challenge. Uh, don't get radio because radio reinforces it adds reinforcement rate to your enemy. So skip that for now. We'll come back and we'll get radio, radio after the Civil War starts. I know, seems petty and, sh and small, but it's all those small details that I think is going to put me over the hill this time around. Oh, and I forgot to lower the 
Yeah, see, you can easily forget stuff. That's one of the problems with this. You need to stay on your toes and not forget stuff. You almost need a checklist. Uh, I'm going to... Sway Leader Loyalty of Jose Mia. Because he's not a bad uh, general, actually. Jose Mia is is fairly decent in it. And he will... He will end up fascist. Well, he'll... If you get him at this point, he'll at least not be on the Republic side. And... Uh, you need to crush the Republic as soon as you can. While you still have the forces, the combined forces of the fascist and the Carlos, the Republic needs to be brought to heel as quickly as possible. That is kind of one of the keys to winning this because if you leave the Republic with too much power you're going to end up losing because they'll bring in Soviet help and they'll have more manpower and they'll have more industry and your manpower will deplete and you will end up losing alright where are we at here? We are challenging their challenge. Influence challenged in Seville Garrison failed. Now you're going to notice that they they kind of have a, a cooldown of a little bit before they challenge again. And you, the player, you don't. So I can immediately go in and re-challenge that. And now a few days are going to pass before they start meddling in our affairs again. So far, so good. Uh, negotiate Carlos support, sweet. Uh, Army of Africa, very important. Um, upon the start of the Civil War, you gain five well-trained units with seven infantry and two artillery battalions and recon and engineer support, as well as uh, guaranteed control over Spanish Africa. So, these are good units. Uh, they're good 20 with units with artillery. Um, and they're going to be vital for pushing the offensive early on. Where are we? How are they? What are they doing? They're trying to secure this, which is going to get them, upon the start of the Civil War, gain 10 poorly trained units with three infantry battalions. The Republic gain five trained units with six infantry battalions. And right now we're 31 to 64. Uh, if things started off right now, that would be the that would be uh, how things would go down. There, we've got another one into Seville. Now what we're going to do here is we could either go back up here and expand our influence in Extra Madura, which I think I'm going to do.
because I want to make sure that we have this nice link here. And what they're going to do is they're going to challenge me again here in Seville. But that's okay, I have two check marks. And they're only going to end up taking one back, and then we're going to re-challenge their challenge. Okay, no, they're training the Union Youth, which gets them more, more soldiers. Uh, ten well-trained units with three infantry battalions. So they, they, they're, uh... They have these things that allow them to get a bunch of units. Looks like they've decided to, uh, instead of challenge me here, they're going to challenge me here. Which is fine. Same difference. Uh, we're just going to re-challenge their challenge. machine tool. Okay, again, might as well go ahead and take care of industry because that doesn't make them fight better. Make sure you have the decisions open so you're not missing any important decisions. Like right now, I could be doing one of these thingamabobbers, so I need to do one of these thingamabobbers like uh, Sway Leader Loyalty, Cordon Garcia, uh, nah, um, Political Assassination, no, uh, Change in Popularity of Fascism, we're gonna do a speech. So they challenged me there, took away a check mark. And we're good to go there again. Um, now here's where I'm not sure what's best. Uh, if you get three check marks, I'm pretty sure you're golden. Um, what does three check marks mean? Current national control all over the garrison strong. Current divisions created upon civil war start two. I kind of want to branch out a little more down here to have more con more influence or control.
I'm going to do it. Branch out a little more. Okay, Army of Africa. So that's a good thing there. Uh, secure the Northern Garrison. So this is the t the one I'm talking about you that gets you a whole bunch of stuff for free because you, you know, you unlocked it and you were going to unlock it no matter what. There's no way to really not unlock this before the Civil War starts. So securing the Northern Garrison is just a thing. Um, and it's going to give you Galicia. It's going to give you Leon, Selmanca, uh, Valladolid, Burgos, Western Aragon, and Navarra. Free of charge, all yours. Congratulations. And that's going to dramatically change the shift in power. It's going to it's going to make things pretty much fairly equal uh, starting out. And it's going to give you most of the north here. That's why I, if if I was to like say start off in Burgos, then they would challenge me in Burgos, and I would rechallenge them in Burgos, and they would challenge me in Burgos, and I would waste all this time and effort into a place. I would end up getting through the tree anyway. So it's better off to have them uh, get them mucking around down here. I think during this phase, so that. Uh, you just end up with this anyway. Wait, what is that? Influence channel? Right. And because I'm grabbing Cordoba here, that's going to make uh, Seville even more important. It's going to be the linchpin here. Um, well, actually, there is still a border here. But I really do want Seville because it'll be an easy place for my Africa Corps to land and start pushing the front ASAP. Uh, typically, I've been sailing them all the way up around here, and then they've been having to move into position, and then they start to do some work, and you only get so far, and then the the civil the next stage of the civil war happens, and then you're having to fight the other fascists, and by the time you get the other fascists in check, um, you've left the Republicans with too much power, and and the Soviet tanks to start to show up and and you start to hate yourself. Okay, so they're challenging me up here again. Um, and we're just gonna we're gonna re-challenge the challenge. So this damn concession to the left will add 15 days to the plot. So I'm going to take away 36 days and they're going to add 15.
All right, sway leader loyalty. That's him again. Political. Another speech. We're gonna give another speech, and uh, they're gonna they're gonna then decide that they're gonna want to assassinate uh, the guy giving the speech. It's 36, again, well, timing. Timing is everything. Where are we now? We are 59 days from, from hostilities breaking out. But there's going to be concessions which add 15 days. So we are, let's say, 60... 75 days, but that's going to take away 36, so we're around 35 days, plus they're going to probably add another 12 days, so we're around 40 or 50 days right now from the war breaking out. So this is when you want to time uh, the stuff you don't want them to have, but you want to have and that is your support weapons. You want to get this increase in support weapons going right now. All right, um, reassign disloyal le leader. So they're going to attempt to put Gonzalo Caipo de Lano. Uh, he, he won't be available for the first 15 days after the mission plot, and I'm not using him anyway, so that's not a big deal. Uh, influence, challenge, concessions to the left, right, and youth. All right. So I'm actually fine with that reassign a disloyal leader. I'm glad they're doing it. Um, it's fine with me. They could they could be doing worse things right now, and I could be doing something. Why am I not doing something? Uh, indeed. Do I secure one of these? No, I'm gonna go for this one because my political power is starting to get a little low. And these both have two check marks. I don't think they can, that they're in danger right now. <coughs> all right, we've secured the northern garrison. Now you see all those check marks have just shown up on the map. So we we have all of this, but we don't have this, and we don't have this, and that's the that's that pocket you want to form. To, to trap your enemy so that you can kill off a good section of their army. Uh, where are we here? Sin Paquito. Remember how I'm telling you my, my political power is getting low? Well, as a Carlist, we really don't care about Franco here. Um, he's If you take this, you get him as a field marshal. He doesn't do me any good as a field marshal. I'm going to get my own field marshal here. Uh, fairly shortly through one of these uh, uh, choices, yeah. Uh, Manuel Falconde becomes uh, leader for the non-aligned party. He is a he's a carlist and he's a field marshal. So I say go with Sin Paquita, get your 60 military power because we're we're starting to get short here. and uh, continue on. Oh, no national focus. What? Start, damn it. Listen.
Okay, they're challenging the Validid Garrison. So right now you're noticing it's 50 to 45 in favor of us. Um, now they just completed the Union Youth, so now they're up 55 to 50. Uh, no matter how fast you speed through this, they're going to get up to 55 units um, because they're going to get these uh, these Union Youth and these other uh, off-map uh, fairly crappy three division units that aren't too much of a threat. They're, they're speed bumps, is what they are. <clears throat> Alright, so we have 54 days on the military plot. However, in 17 days, we will effectively canex another 36 days. So we got time to do one more uh, sway a garrison. They are working on on the Validid Garrison, which has you know two check marks, three check marks. They're they're, they're only going to bring it down to two. They're not going to they're not going to get it. Um, they're not going to have time to challenge these. We could snipe maybe Madrid, which would be kind of crazy, or we could. Go with cutting off some coastline, um, maybe uh, I'm thinking about getting a, a, a larger presence down here in the south. So I'm going to grab this region here as a just a now just because it's this will get this will make it weak and weak isn't a guarantee it's going to flip, uh, but it could. So by challenging me there, they effectively killed one of my possible divisions. Because uh, three check marks to two check marks is a one division change in strength. Three days, 36 is going to be taken away. So in three days, it'll be 37. So we are, we're four days away from this thing starting, which is probably the quickest I've ever actually started the war. Um, three days left so I'm just gonna get this 60 political power like uh, a day before the war starts and then we're gonna be straight into things
Might as well watch the clock tick. Um, yeah, it's not even worth trying to assign anything right now. And we're about to have the Span uh, Spanish Civil War, guys. Here we go. Let's see how this turns out. All right. Now this uh, this choice is important because this choice basically uh, says, "Are you going to go down the left or the right side of the tree?" Um, so this is a choice between the phalanx ascended or supremacy of the commune and we are going with supremacy of the commune that is our choice so by god the fatherland we are king we're we're choosing supremacy of the commune and holy crap this didn't work out the way i was expecting it to work out did it not at all um um yeah okay well you you get here now and you get here yesterday and you get make sure you go there you two go here um You guys get to Malaga? Uh, Instrucciones. Lento. Listo, señor. Sí, señor. Avance. Get down there. Um Firme. You go up here. You go there. You go there. By God, go there. And go there. Yeah, this this wasn't completely according to plan. <coughs> we have a lot of of work cut out for us, but with with luck and perseverance, uh, things will prevail. Ish, maybe. Now, how many of our I think we had like nine or ten in this, and so four carried over. We had three in here, one carried over, and we had the horsey always seems to carry over. Uh, I think we lost one of the mountain brigades. So that is interesting how that all happens. Um, You head this way. Get over there. Get over there. So right now you just want to make mad dashes for territory. Um, 
any territory you can get ASAP is probably what you should think on doing. And I will eventually have to form some sort of armies here. Uh, let's send them down this way. Just kind of handing them to him to get them the uh, his passive buffs. guys are unassigned, they can go here, 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 I think these guys are all unassigned. Now, here is another thing that uh, actually matters as far as I'm concerned. So, the war in the north gives an important thing in that it will remove the unplanned offensive from uh, those two pockets that you have of troops trapped up in the north. Uh, that's an important thing, but I don't think you should rush it first. Um, because you're going to need to be able to prepare the Carlist insurrection sooner than later. I think this is the most important thing to get as a Carlist first, because this will allow you to start creating cells um, of where your Carlist support will be when the when the when the smoke flies. So yeah. First thing, go after that, I believe. Now we are going to watch as the craziness unfolds. We have a fight here. He's trying to lock us in place. That guy left Malaga. Very nice. Actually, I probably should have raced Seville. So we're going to lock him in place to get that other guy to Seville. You guys are going to head there, you're going to head to there. Okay, they can wear themselves out attacking me, that's fine. Up on 
Contando. No, you sit tight. Señor. Avance. Listo. Avance. Oh, we want our Italian help, right? We know we certainly want the equipment. I might be getting a little reckless here, but I think reckless is fine. Tie them down. I want to get here first. You guys can stop attacking. Uh, you guys can spread across the river. Okay, I'm going to be micromanaging the pause button quite a bit here. Did they really leave Bilbo? It looks like they did. Well, that's excellent. Um, so there's actually a... There's a time period right now where there is no unplanned offensive. It's kind of like the the initial uh, you could do anything you want right now real fast until the game tells you there's an unplanned offensive. And that's kind of the... We're, I suppose, exploiting that at this point in time. Stay put. Um, you guys... Get out here, expand our influence. Don't let them move. Lock them down. Get in that fight. Why are you guys just standing around? Get up there. Uh, these guys are being heroes. They're, they're. These guys are literally tying up the the Republicans. 
and allowing me to take advantage of the front line. And there's the unplanned offensive. Now it has arrived. It's reared its awful head. And our leader just died because he, uh, he wanted to overload a small plane. Even though he was, uh, told wouldn't be a good idea. He was probably not the best leader for us anyway, so no big loss. Let's get these troops, um, cleaned up quicker than later. Uh, as I would like to get these guys to the front line. Get me. Can you guys get there first? Probably not. But I'd love to at least get rid of that airfield <coughs> for even if it's only temporarily. Hey, uh, let's see if Mercia is free. This might be a bad idea, but we're going to go for it. Why aren't you guys heading out and doing stuff? Um, you guys can stop attacking over a river during an unplanned offensive. Probably isn't such a great idea. <coughs> and, um, Madrid's right there. Would you like to try to capture it? You guys can really stop attacking. You're going to need everything you can on the defense. Uh, you guys are also trying to attack, so stop that. Just, just stand there and take it like men. Um... Really? Barcelona's empty? Well, hot damn. Oh, do I risk getting this really good unit cut off to take Madrid? I really kind of think it's worth it. We'll send them to follow up in the gap. And we will... We'll send you to Madrid. Chase them down, don't let them get their morale back. Excellent.
Alright, they decided to stop me. And they decided to stop me. Probably good moves on their part. Um... Look at that, we got to there. Let's keep going. Yes, I know I'm paused. I just want to make sure I'm not doing anything too stupid. And Madrid may have been stupid, but it felt right. probably should put some divisions in basic while I can afford to do so. The question is, I've been putting good divisions in basic, but should I put good divisions in basic? No, 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 no. That's... Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Those are four. So this really just takes manpower and some support equipment. And that is mainly manpower. And again, some support artillery. Whoops. No, 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 back. So I'm going to do something wild here. Uh, I'm going to edit one of these. Probably this one. And I'm going to take the support equipment off. I'm going to throw on another body. Okay, that's going to affect all of the guys in the field. And I'm sorry for those of you who might be in the midst of battle. Uh, but I don't think I have that many of these divisions. Uh, he says as he makes a bonehead move. But I'm going to save that. And this is what I'm going to actually train. Because it only requires manpower. <coughs> Alright, uh what to do here. Uh, let's go this way and, and capture the river. You guys can probably stop attacking. These guys are in all intents and purposes cut off.
¡Listo para avanzar! Uh, this might be dumb, but we're gonna do it anyway. Because I'm greedy. Do not let them... Get in that fight. I want I want this fight over sooner rather than later. Uh, don't let them move. Wait, why are you guys attacking? Stop that. Make sure nothing bad's going on around here. comes the Russians. The Russians always gotta ruin things. Uh, hmm. Why not? It's a bad attack, but let's do the bad attack anyway. I mean, the only thing that makes it a bad attack is that it's an unplanned offensive. And you guys, stop. These Russians are coming from my unit. Uh oh. Yeah, the Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. <laughs> What just happened? Carlos Spain took 13. Spain was annexed. What just happened? What just happened? What? what? Holy! I... I... Okay, for all of those that say that the... Spanish Civil War is too hard. Eat it. That's that's Spanish Civil War in 17 August 1936. Though I have to admit, I'm amazed that that happened. I'm not. I'm not even sure how that happened. Uh, evidently, getting Barcelona was huge. Evidently, having Seville was hu huge. And I'm t I'm assuming that my push for Madrid made it, and that was the tipping stone to actually manage to win the Civil War. Oh my god, I didn't even have to do any of the crazy stuff. Wow. 
There's even Soviets on my land that need to go away. Get out of here, evil Soviets. Take a hike. You're, you're not wanted. What? W wow. I won that so fast I didn't even get my other units from... Uh, wow. Yeah, okay, I... I'm... I'm happy, sure. Woohoo! You all saw it here, folks. This is how to win the Spanish Civil War as a Carlist. Um, this is not exactly what I had planned to show you. This was not the tutorial I was going to show you. It's it's certainly missing some steps. Um, and those steps would have been create a cell in Galicia. Create a cell in in uh, this state up here, Oviedo, um, Asturias. So cell here, cell here. Um, you get a cell here, and you get a cell here. That would link these up. And then with the last cell, throw it in Leon. Then you get a pop-up saying that you, where do you want your five troops that they're going to send you? And you want them either here or here, depending on if you get that option, because it, it varies which states they give you, but you want them around here. And then you want to take your, your requistas before the actual... Uh, before the crackdown happens and you want to pull them off the front line and bring them back here and then you also want to take the Africa Corps off of the front line and get them up to Galicia as well which can be a trick if you especially if you have them pocketed in ports down here like I did um, so maybe I wouldn't have been able to do that um, and any and any of these guys that you recognize any of the the uh, better divisions you start off with uh, that have actual full infantry divisions if you know that you have any of those get those into the back line uh, and they will and and your horsey because your horsey has a lot of band power uh, I don't peep I don't think people give this particular unit enough credit in the Spanish Civil War uh, because Look at that. Look at how wide that horsey unit is. That's a real cavalry unit. Uh, 24 width. It's got some serious heft to it. Um, so that's a serious unit in the Spanish Civil War. You want to get him into into the territory. So if, if the troops are anywhere in this territory, uh, they're pretty much guaranteed to convert over to you. Uh, the re the requis the requites or whatever they're called uh, you don't have to pull them back but you may want to pull them back anyway just to deal with with uh, reuniting your di disjointed property because you're gonna want to kill the remnants of the fascist as quickly as you can so that then you can then turn around and deal with the Republic um, but yeah you unfortunately you guys are not going to get to see that part of it play out um, you saw me uh win too quickly um this is this is how to win too quickly this um here you go the the carlist uh how to play carlos spain to win too quickly and we've done it here folks um Anyway, I'm James Johnson aka Sulfur Blade. This is my content. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time, all, peace.